What is going on, everybody? Washington here, back with another figure to review. And for this review, we're going to be reviewing Madame Hydra. Madame Hydra is another Marvel Legends uh, figure from the build a figure Marvel's controller. And she's the number third figure of the wave, technically the fourth. But this is the third figure that has a build a figure piece. So as we're going to be reviewing, top of that box, see that is the build a figure Marvel Legends series logo and then we got the warnings of small parts of children hazards down the bottom you see the marvel marvel logo madam hydra the name of the character and the figure by hasbro and you can see the window box of the figures the accessories and the build figure piece of which i'm going to look at in a little bit and on top of the box you see the logo and a little bit of damage on the package you know it's the way how it came but yeah but i do apologize for that but yeah on the side, we got a promotional picture of the character. And both sides came in as well. Bottom part, you see the barcode and some licensing. You know, the legal stuff. And in the back of the box, you see the little readout of the character. A nice promotional picture there. For those of you who like to read, feel free to read it. Pause it if you like. It's written in... Uh, several different languages, Spanish is included. And down at the bottom, you see the list of the build a figure wave of controller starting from Iron Man all the way to US Agent. And Madame Hydra is the third figure that has a build a figure piece, so they count it as three, which technically with Iron Man is four, but yeah. And at the bottom, you see the Marvel logo and Hasbro. So let's get her open and have a closer look at her. Okay, here we have the figure. And we're going to start out with the measurement tape. And Madame Hydra, she measures up a little bit above six inches, which is six and a quarter, six inches and a quarter, which almost up to 16 centimeters. And yeah, this is Madame Hydra. Her, um, She's a super villain, actually, for the X Men and the Avengers. I mean, the her uh, her real name was um, trying to remember Ophelia Sarkisian Sarkisian Ophelia Sarkisian. Yeah, that was uh, her name. Um, Madame Hydra. They also called her Viper. And her first appearance in the comics was in Captain America issue one hundred and ten. And yeah, she's also oh, she was also married to Wolverine too. So that's a, <laughs> and obviously it's divorced now. I mean, like who would like a crazy ass bitch like that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, like another thing um that about the figure is that she, um, in the comics they appeared that she has like a scar like on the right side of her cheek, and that explains why her hair was like folded, uh, to this direction. So that way it's like covering up that scar but looks like they forgot that little extra detail i mean the the, the the hair is a soft rubber plastic so you just fold it and there's no scar there but you know they try to do that intention that they did right there you know with the hair the hair is all green you see some black wash in there too and um you know you see the makeup work in there i mean the there was an other reissues that uh well the figures of Madame Hydra before this one, and they said this one's a lot better. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have the other the other um, figures from Madame Hydra, and but I've seen some pictures of them, and and to be honest, they they look kind of hideous. And to me, this one's a lot better, and this one is the one that I happened to pick up uh, at this one local store, and it was like a very cheap price, you know, because of Black Friday sales. And um, yeah, this is a Nice, nice figure. I mean, uh, I mean, compared to the other Madame Hydra figures that were released before this one, this one's actually a little better. Um, if you notice, it's just all one color. Well, technically two colors. It's really dark, kind of old olive green, and then this highlighted green, and little parts of yellow. Especially the like the best detail that they added to this figure is this one symbol right there that she carries right there. Yeah. On her holsters, yeah, it's really nice. 
for the holsters, you know, they're they're a separate piece, so that's because they're not molded in there. So that actually it helps, so that way it's not in the way for any like articulation that's limited or, any, or anything like that, which that's great. Um, obviously the body, the body is obviously uh reused body from other uh, Marvel Legend figures and stuff. You can clearly see by the little F branch right there, and then the thigh cuts. Or the, the swivels and he's got these also the 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 pin joints the pin joints are right there you know you can clearly see the some people you know are are obviously you know complaining about the pin joints but you know if you keep the figure straight like this you know it's not going to be too noticeable it doesn't really bother me honestly to be to to be real with you i mean and you got the pick holes in the bottom if you put them on a space stand and you got the stamp underneath there too. Figure by Hasbro. And uh yeah, I mean the face and everything looks it looks kinda accurate. Kinda accurate as a comic, you know. I can't complain too much about the face and stuff, except for that one part of that detail that they made that scar that she's supposed to have, like on the right side of her cheek. It doesn't have it there, but of course they went with that intention, you know, by covering it with the hair. But yeah. Looks nice. And for accessories, obviously they weren't too generous enough. They only gave us five accessories in total. And she came with two extra pair of hands and the two guns that you can uh, put on her holster. And she came in with the leg of the controller. Something that we're going to be seeing in a little bit after we uh, complete the figure. But uh, yeah, that's all they gave us. And not too generous. I mean, for the hand, two hand fists, obviously you can't do much with them because of the portability for like some fight scenes or something like that, you know. I mean, she already came with those trigger hands that are for her guns. You can easily place those in her hands. And of course, you can place them in her holsters just like the Wild Wild West. That's nice. Another thing about these guns, you know, besides they got these uh, in the handles, you got this little snake skin texture on the handles of the guns. I mean, that's a really nice detail. There's a really nice uh, texture there that they added to them. And, uh, I don't know if she comes with the. I know she comes with this big rifle. They didn't get added in the figure, but uh, yeah, they only gave us these two, and like that's quite a. Uh, it's it's quite uh interesting. Plus the thing at the tip, you know, they're super flimsy. I mean, that's one thing that I dislike about it, especially these ones, the tip parts right here, super flimsy. And yeah, they could have give us a a better uh, uh weapon, just like that one big rifle that she uh she appears with in the comics. That would have been great. But yeah. Yeah, for articulation, obviously her head is on a ball peg, so she can rotate all the way to full 360 around. The hair does limit some of the articulations by tilting it side to side, and for looking up, yeah, you can't do it because, you know, of her hair. Yeah. This part right here is, like, the hardest part of the the hair, except for this side here. This one's the more flexible side, and this one's, like, a little harder, so you can't, you know, Made her look up. That's a bummer. She can look down about this much. Very limited. Yeah. Shoulders can extend about this much. She's got a good rotation. Another thing is that she does not have no swivel on those biceps. You know that. I really thought they were, but it looks like the paint job kind of tricked us there. The paint work made us think that this was like a swivel cut so that we can. No swivel the bicep, but she doesn't. She doesn't have no swivel on the bicep. She does have a hinge on the elbow and also swivel. You can swivel that. She has this uh, swivel on the wrist and hinge as well. You know, some rotation on the the uh, upper body there. Up and down. She got this uh, split about this much, very limited. Picking range about this much backwards. 
She already told you that. I already told you that she had that uh, thigh cut, so obviously she's got a swivel on both knees. And then the hinge, the double hinges on the knees right there. Those pin joints, obviously, they're very noticeable. Uh, she's got the piv ankle pivot, just like any Marvel Legend figure. And then it's got the hinge, too. I already mentioned the pec holes. But yeah. The yeah, for comparison size, here you see her with two other female six inch Marvel Legend figures from Hasbro. You can see their uh, review on the channel. You can look them up look them up if you wish. Here you see her with the Brazilian lioness Amanda Nunez, seven inch figure from Chestware. And here you see her with Darla from uh, DC the one of the Shazam characters. Five and a half from Mattel. Back to my religions. Here you see her with her ex-husband Wolverine, the six and a half, six, uh, almost six inch figure from Hasbro. Two six inch and a half DBZ figures from Dragon Stars. From the DC Multiverse, here you see her with the Wonder Woman heavy metal from seven inch and a half figure from MacFarlane and a seven inch Harley Quinn from Mattel. Here you see her with Am Amanda Ripley and Ellen Ripley, both figures from NECA, seven inches. Two nine inch Xenomores from NECA. And of course, one nine inch AVP Predator and one eight inch Predator from NECA. So yeah, what do you guys think of this figure? Will you add him to your Madame Hydra collection? Or will you only pick it up just to get the Builder Figure Peace Controller? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? If you like it, give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. That will really help a lot. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, soon I'll be reviewing more figures to co to complete this figure, the, the controller. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys next time.